2000 years ago, the ancient Greeks built something that shouldn't exist. A machine so advanced it took scientists over a century just to realize what it really was. It's called the Antikythera Mechanism. Some people even call it the world's first computer. So, let me explain. The story starts in 1901. A group of sponge divers were exploring a Roman shipwreck near the island of Antikythera, Greece. They were expecting treasure and statues. What they didn't expect was a weird lump of bronze and wood, all corroded and broken apart. At first, nobody paid much attention. It mm. looked like a rock fused with junk metal. But when pieces were studied in the early 1900s, scholar noticed something weird. Tiny hand cut teeth, gears, real interlocking gears, and not the rough kind you would expect from antiquity. Those were engineered with incredible precision. That's when the mystery exploded. Modern scans and x-rays revealed that the Antikythera mechanism was a mechanical computer built around 100 BC. To understand how huge this is, let me explain to you what is a mechanical computer. Now, there are two kinds of computers, digital ones, like the device you're watching this video on, and an analog or a mechanical computers, which solve problem using gears, levers, and motion. Take something simple like 6 multiplied by 4. A digital computer will translate those numbers into binary, ones and zeros, run the calculation step by step, and then translate the result back to give you 24. But an analog computer can solve the same problem using gears. Imagine a gear with 6 teeth, mashing with a gear with 24 teeth. Every time the big gear turns once, the smaller spins 4 times. Mathematically speaking, you have just multiplied 6 by 4, but using motion instead of a code. Cool, right? Just bear with me. That's basically how clocks work, turning seconds into minutes and minutes into hours. And it's also how the Antikythera mechanism worked. Only instead of just telling time, this device simulated the cosmos. So what did it do? It could show the movements of the sun and the moon. It tracked the positions of the planets visible to the naked eye. Flip it over and the back was just as impressive. Two spiral dials displayed even more cycles. The 19-year mutanic cycle used for ancient calendars, a four-year cycle of the Olympic Games, and an eclipse predictor that predicted solar and lunar eclipses decades in advance. How cool is that? This wasn't just impressive, it was centuries, maybe millennium ahead of its time. The complexity of the Antikythera wouldn't be matched again until medieval clockmakers in the 1300s. Think about that. Over a thousand years where nothing else even came close. And that raises the big question. How? How did the ancient Greeks have the skill to design a machine like this? Was it the work of a forgotten genius? Maybe inspired by Archimedes or Hipparchus, the great astronomers of the age? Or was there once a whole tradition of mechanical engineering? We have completely lost to time. Because here's the thing, after this one device, the trail just goes cold. No other machines like it have been ever found. Was it simply too complex to copy? Or the knowledge was destroyed in wars or fires, like the burnings of the Library of Alexandria? Even today, the Antikythera mechanism isn't fully understood. We know what it did, but not exactly who built it or how widespread this knowledge was. If something this complex could vanish once, what else might have been lost to history? Oh, hey, no, stop, 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 stop it. 